Hello! Hey guys. Welcome to PixoTube. Yes. Now, today we'll be showing you the new update, uh, which should probably be a 1.3 pretty soon, but for now it's just 12W, uh, let's see, 23B, I believe. If I'm wrong, comment. Okay. Yeah. Now, we'll be showing you things like trip wires and this new village. Wait, 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 wait. What question? What's a trip wire? Um, you'll see. Just stay tuned with the rest of the people. Yeah, fine. And, since you're not creative, there's a diamond for you, so you can get some stuff. Ooh, a diamond. I got the diamond in the Oh. That's a tripwire. Okay. Well, at least you got the diamond for like three seconds. Okay. Well. Well, I'm going to teach you how to make one of these good things. Now, here's a tripwire hook. You need these on each side of the tripwire. There's some string. That's what you use for the tripwire. Okay. Now, let me get a random block, such as sandstone. Let's throw these apart. They, I think they can go up to, like, about 18 blocks. But this one, I don't know how many blocks this is, but pretty much you go like that. And when it's all connected, oh my god. Okay, when it's all connected, then when you step on it, it goes like that. Um, oh. That's a tripwire. But I had TNT on each side and underneath it, so it blew up that little house, which is over there. Okay. You can, pretty much what you do is you have redstone connected to the tripwire, and then you can pretty much power it to do anything you can do with redstone, pretty much. Like pistons, uh, TNT, of course, and all kinds of stuff. Like, see what? Well, I think we've learned that. Yeah. Well, so that's tripwire. Some people in other videos may show have shown you floating tripwires, which aren't supposed to be in there. But for now, it might they might fix it. But for now, it works. So here's how you do it. You go like that. You put a tripwire on each side. You put a tripwire in the middle, then you put another tripwire on top of that, and then mine the one underneath, and you got a floating tripwire. Now, you see, if this was covered up like this, like that, then it'd be pretty hard to see. You just walk in, and then boom. And then you could either have... I think they should... Someone should make, like, a door shut there, and then that would be, like, enclosed right here. And then a bunch of arrows would shoot, and then you'd get a bunch of items. That would be really cool. Yeah. Easy griefing. Just like on Megacraft. I've got to use that. Well. Anyways. Yeah, in the new update, we should make a bunch of rooms like that. Have like our fortress be protected with them. Yeah. Well. You see. Since that's that. This is sort of a destroyed, uh... Desert village. Which is pretty much a regular village, only it replaces a bunch of things with different types of sandstone. There's now stairs, sandstone, sandstone stairs, I mean. Over here, you're probably wondering, what the hell are these in those trees? Well, these are cocoa bean plants, which were just added. I'm on creative, so it's not going to give me any cocoa beans, but usually they give you about two to three, depending on how ripe they are. And the oranger they are, the riper they are. Now... There's new dungeons. Marcus, will you go look in the desert for a desert dungeon while I look for a jungle temple? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Desert temples are usually just... You could have made them a long time ago. But jungle temples, they feature the new tripwires. That's what I'm going to show you. Marcus, I'm, I'm going to go on single player. Um, you keep looking for a... Oh, whatchamacallit. Right, uh, yeah. On single player... Apparently, Jimmy has this thing that See, this this is a jungle temple. So you usually find them. Oh, okay. They look like that. I don't know what the hell they're supposed to be. It looks kind of like maybe like a pagoda or something. I don't know. But or like an Inca temple. I don't know. But um, you come in here, place some torches because they're pretty dark. You come in here. You, you're gonna want to watch the floor because. Now there's trip wires. Whenever you walk in a room, you're gonna want to watch the floor. You see, this is a puzzle sort of thing. Now, oh, I just lost connection. Okay. See, look at this. I'll turn my phone. And then I 
think that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, we need another one. See this puzzle pretty much? <laughs> pretty hard, but each one's kind of different. And you come in here, and there's some good old loot, like diamonds, iron, uh, gold, and according to Marcus, my server's down, so, um, I just lost connection. Anywho, you're going to want to look for... Aha. Uh -huh. There's a tripwire right there. <laughs> Let's see, a random person just stepping through here. They'd get owned in the face by that. And then you come in here, look another one. And you would get owned like that. And there's your loot. And this is pretty much all there is in these dungeons for now. They may add more, but I think that puzzle thing's pretty cool. We may... We're probably going to put the in the description the Minecraft wiki page so you can read all about this new update. For all you haven't been following the weeklies, there's a lot more stuff that's been added that Jeb's been adding in. I mean, most people think he's not doing crap, but I mean, look at this. Man. If you saw those desert things, that would be pretty cool. Hold on. Let's just take a look at my sir. Mark, what the hell do you do? I don't know. It just says... Okay, it just know. says logging in for a while. Uh, it just okay. says end of stream. Well, my server's being gay, so... Um, oh, wait. Okay, there. I restarted the server for you. There we go. Okay. Well, now that you've seen that, that's pretty much all I have on this world for you, but... Um, I'm gonna keep looking for a desert village if I can get on the server. And it's really done. Oh, God. There we oh, go. Oh, found one. Okay, now the server's Marcus. It looks tiny, though. Marcus found it. That I found one, but it looks real tiny. Marcus, what does it do? Okay, well, I guess there's like tiny pyramids. That's a de defective one, dude. Look for another one. Okay. Okay. Whoa, Jesus Christ. No. See, we're inside one right now. And that's pretty much the trap. Oh. But this one outside kind of looks... It looks like it's got covered in sand. Because usually the door would be like right here. That was supposed to be the door right here. And you step in, there would be blue wool there, you mine it, you fall in there, and then you get blown up. And yeah, pretty much all it gives you is, if you're lucky, the stuff's in the chest, and if you're, if you really like sandstone, you could, or you could live in it, use it for there like... There is a passage down here that... Yeah, I know. Nah, there, there's nothing in it, dude. Um, well, you see, they're very rare, it took my, Marks a while to find it. And my server went down, so. Yeah. A couple technical difficulties. Well. Piggies. Oh, and look, they've added in pigs. How nice. Well. Oh. What you see, whoa, that is a lot of lighting glitch. It's kind of buggy. That's probably why they don't just come up with updates just like that. Because it gets really buggy. But you see, the biomes like this is where you find emeralds. Whoa. Okay. Well, that's about it, so... Yes, see you next time on Pixel 2. We'll show you the rest in another video, because, yeah. So, bye. See you later.